I'm Pamela Salzman. I'm here with The Chalkboard, and today we're going to be doing a quinoa tabbouleh. Tabbouleh is typically a very refreshing, healthful salad made with wheat berries, um, with bulgur wheat, and tons of parsley and mint and cucumber, lots of vegetables. But instead today we're going to be substituting quinoa for the bulgur wheat, which makes it much more high in protein and also makes it gluten-free. So the first thing we're going to do is actually make the quinoa, which is very simple to make. And even though it's a whole grain, it ends up cooking quite quickly. But one thing you may want to do before you cook your quinoa is to rinse it because quinoa has a very natural but bitter outer coating called saponin. You'll want to use a fine mesh sieve to rinse your quinoa. Um, if you use anything bigger than this, the quinoa is just going to spill out. If you don't have something like this, you can just swish it around in a bowl. That would be fine too. Just give it a couple of quick turns with your hand. Okay, so we're gonna take our rinsed quinoa and we're gonna put it into a pot that has a pinch of salt and one and three quarter cups of water. And you're gonna bring that to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, you can lower it to a simmer, cover your quinoa, and then time it for 15 minutes. One of the most important ingredients in any tabbouleh is the parsley. So the recipe here calls for about three quarters of a cup chopped. The more parsley, the better. It's so incredibly healthy and cleansing for you. You pretty much can't put too much in this tabbouleh. So I'm just finishing up chopping um, quite a bit of parsley here. I also chopped up some mint, which really works beautifully in this and just adds such a nice freshness. So what we're going to do while our quinoa is cooking is just start assembling the components of the salad to our serving bowl. So I'm going to dump all of these beautiful herbs right in here. And then you can see I also have some cucumber cut up. This is a Persian cucumber and I love using these because they're sweet and I love to be able to use the skin on them because it's such a nutritious part of the cucumber. Not all cucumbers have a really delicious edible skin like this one, so that's why I love using these and I've cut them up pretty small. So we're gonna add this to the salad. And then I have some cherry tomatoes that I've halved. If you prefer them quartered, you can do that too. We're also gonna add in some thinly sliced green onion, and this would be the white parts and the green parts. Whatever looks really fresh and vital to you. Cut off any dead ends. These go right in there too. I'm gonna smash my garlic and mince it up really, really well. We're just gonna use maybe a half a teaspoon of it. But if you wanna use more, go right ahead. Garlic is super, super good for you. And then the last thing that we need to add to our tabbouleh is we're gonna add some freshly squeezed lemon juice, some olive oil, and then a bit of salt. And we're gonna wait for our quinoa to be cooled down before we add the lemon juice and the olive oil in here. Okay, so our quinoa has cooled off. It's really nice and light and fluffy right now. So I'm putting this right into the bowl that has all the herbs and the vegetables. And the last thing we need to do is just add our lemon juice, olive oil, and a bit of salt and pepper. We'll toss this up and it's ready to go. For more recipes like this, visit thechalkboardmag.com.